Welcome, 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 Collective. Thanks for tapping in. This is Queen Self Real Tarot. This is Queen here with another, another message from the Divine. Okay. Let's see what we have here for the Cosmic Gods and Goddesses. Hope everyone's having a beautiful day. Uh, don't know what's coming up, but we're about to see, okay? What's the energy here, Holy Spirit? Remember to take uh, what resonates and to leave what does not. Know the energy is fluid. It could be either masculine or feminine, so reverse the roles when necessary. Also, time is fluid. We could be picking up the energy of past, present, or future events. So keep that in mind, collective, okay? Wow, we have the three of wands here. Something's moving forward, okay? Some type of initiation here. And we have the Knight of Swords in reverse here. And then we have the King of Cups in the reverse, okay? So, hmm. The energy I'm getting here from these cards is, wow, someone is going going into something like without thinking here is what I'm getting here. And they could be following something or someone that could possibly get them in trouble. Okay, because whoever, whoever this person is that someone is following, this person could care less about them. This is the energy I'm getting here. Okay, well, maybe this person is going to actually go on some type of trip with them or something like that. Okay, wow. Or they could have asked you to go on a trip or whatever. Hmm. What I'm getting here, something needs to be focused on. Somebody's, you could avoid something. Avoid being around this person. Um, wow. Wow. For some of you, this person's a heartbreaker, whoever this is. Wow, you could be headed for self-destruction. I don't know if some of y'all remember that song. I'm headed for self-destruction. Yeah, it's an old school song, but that's the energy I'm getting from these cards. Somebody's headed for self-destruction here. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, yeah, we have the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck here. Wow. Whatever this may cause could cause you to, you know, be able to try to find some way to push through or, you know, something here. Um, you will get through this prayerfully. So let's tap in and see what this is, okay? <laughs> this could possibly make you sick or something. This person could make you sick or something, you know, like. Let's see. Let's get this deck out here. Let's see what could possibly be going on. Who is this person? This heartbreaker. <laughs> wow, I'm here. You're headed for self destruction with this person here. This person ain't got no love for somebody here. I ain't saying this for you, collective, but somebody in your energy it could be. <clears throat> it could be somebody close to you. Okay, but somebody's headed towards this person. This person um, is a heartbreaker. Somebody needs to hear this. Okay. Wow. What's your spirit? What does my collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of? That's too many. What does my collective know? Need to know? What do they need to be aware of, Spirit? Please and thank you. What do they need to be aware of? Oh, probably somebody from somebody's past. Okay, that'd be returning. I expect to hear from some from somebody soon. This damn heartbreaker. Somebody trying to get back in somebody's energy. What's here, spirit? You may get a message that this person is returning or they may call you or try to contact you some type of way. Okay, I'm also getting like some type of uh, e electronic message. So it could be, you know, like an email or something like that. Hmm. What's here? But there, uh, yeah. You may, you, you may be, uh, like I said, hearing from this person and you go toward this person. This person only plans to break your heart, whoever you are. What's here, spirit? I'm saying you're headed for self-destruction. Spirit said, yes. That's true. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, somebody's going to be wanting to meet up with you or talk with you. Okay. Or maybe you, you know, helping to build some type of friendship with this person here. Spirit wants you to think twice about this person here. All right. This is the energy I'm getting here. What else is here, spirit? I'm hearing, ain't no love in the heart of the city. Ain't no love in the heart of the town. Ain't no love 
in the heart of the city ain't no love when you ain't around but some of you y'all been waiting for this person to come back but this person's only gonna come back you maybe you were thinking you know how it was before in the past with this person maybe you thought about you know getting engaged um with this person or this person was you know somebody you were just in a partnership with or somebody that you were in a union with here okay but yeah somebody from your past here they want to come back around and talk but this is a heartbreaker yeah spirit say you're headed for self-destruction here what else is here spirit because whoever it is they're definitely coming back when your ex is about to return here they're only coming back to break your heart that's what spirit said yeah i only come back to charm you or use you here okay you know on this channel we keep it real as long as you keep it real with spirit spirit gonna keep it real with you it may not be what you want to hear but it'll be what you need to hear and that's the truth spirit said okay just know luck is on your side because you're uh your um, spirit guides are, and your guardian archangels are watching out for you. Guardian angels are watching out for you, okay? Because you've been, you know, doing pretty good in life with the three of wands here, okay? You've been happy, excited. But this person may want to come in and offer you something here. But the show ain't love, so don't look for it. Wow. They may come in telling you that they want a commitment with you, but it's for another reason here, to charm you or to just to use you or something here is what I'm getting here. You may think they're coming in to build something. Maybe you guys had started something in the past for some of you and, you know, it was, some, it was something that was never finished, okay? And so they're returning to see if they can rekindle something with you. Okay, if you're thinking it's love, spirit saying it's not love. It's not the reason they're coming back. What's here, spirit? Please and thank you. I don't know why you and this person um, separated in the first place, but yeah, you need to set up some boundaries with this person. Tell us more, Spirit. What else is here? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Maybe they're coming back to repair or work on the relationship. Okay, like I said, something wasn't finished here. They're coming back to, they may say they're coming back to offer you a ring. Okay, because there's a ring here on this picture. They may be coming back to offer you a ring, okay? But this may be a person that um, wants to say they want to work on something or repair something with you, okay? But they're not coming back with love on their mind. They're coming back for something else. Hmm. Hmm. But they're definitely headed your way. And this is the, the reason. Uh, this is the excuse that they're using, okay? But you need to set up some boundaries with this person. Okay, because they don't have good intentions, especially if, if you're thinking about um, building a relationship with this person. If, this, if they come back telling you that's what they want to do, Spirit says it's not true. But this person is definitely coming back and they're going to, you know, gaslight to try to gaslight, attempt to gaslight the shit out of you is what I'm getting here. So set up some boundaries, okay? Some of y'all going to be feeling it, what I'm seeing here. Hmm. I'm hearing you should, you guys may have severed ties in the past. I'm hearing that. Severed ties in the past. I'm getting something about Compton. Something about a cutoff date. I don't know what that is. Yeah, maybe this person had um, put you in a third party. Or maybe this person looks at you like a one night stand. Or maybe this, this person considered you a one night stand. Whatever, maybe, you know, they just were stringing you along for a uh, majority of you. They were just stringing you along. Spirit said, yes. Yes, they had you in the third party here. Okay. Hmm. This person also act like they didn't need you at the time, whoever they were. I don't need you for nothing. That's what they, that was their attitude. I don't need you for nothing. It could, could have been a, a masculine or a feminine. Hmm. Let's see what they're thinking here. What does my collective need to know about this person that's trying to make this bold return into their life, okay? Somebody you turned down. It's somebody you turned down. <laughs> I 
Now, for some of y'all, y'all going to be turning this person down if you haven't already. You're going to turn down their offering. Okay, what's going on here, Spirit? Please clarify for the collective. Please and thank you. You're going to be turning down this offering, but they're going to they gonna come. No, yeah. Send everything you, they think you want to hear. But you need not to be so available. Okay, don't be so available when this person comes. Don't just open up your your mind, your heart, your door, or whatever to this person immediately. Don't do that. The Spirit don't want you to do that, okay? Don't be so available when this person want to talk, you know. Just tell them you're busy or something, you know. I'm not saying don't 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 talk to them, but they're going to be one calling you, telling you that they want you. Okay, right off the bat. Right off the bat, you're going to know who this person is. I want you. Yeah. They're going to be trying to tell you how they became a better person. Okay. But some of you, this is your ex trying to come back here. I'm a better person. Yeah. But I feel you leaving me behind. So I felt that I should try to contact you and call you because I don't want you to leave me. See, this person is insecure. This person don't like to lose. Okay. You you apparently left this person. Now, this person wants to make you believe in some sort of way that they want you. That out of love here. Okay, so because they came back, some of y'all gonna think it's out of love, but they coming back for another reason. I don't know why, but the show ain't love. That's what the spirit keep expressing. It's not love. This person you have to deal with, I've been in a relationship with, they're not coming back for love here. Okay, what else is here, spirit? What does collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Yeah, I wonder if you're happy without me. This is going to be all a part of the conversation. Well, how you been doing? You know, seem like you've been doing pretty good. Yeah, you, you, ain't, you ain't done too bad for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they know it was their fault oh, for y'all uh, breaking up or a separation, but they're going to blame you for it. Okay? And they don't regret lying to you because these cards came out in the reverse. They don't regret lying to you. And they blamed you for the breakup. So that's what I'm saying. This person's not coming back out of love. And they they wasn't looking for you. Some, for some of y'all, they're going to happen to run into y'all. This is in the reverse, too. They're going to happen to run into you somewhere. Okay? And going to try to, you know, spark something back up. But it's not love. That's what the spirits want you to know. It's definitely not love. So set some boundaries with this person. Don't be so available. This person may come in to you talking about they want you. That they become a better person. But they haven't. Okay, they only come back in because you left them. So this is the type of person that likes control. They like control every situation. Um, if they want to um, not be with somebody no more, they want to be the one that, that break it off. Okay, and you somehow collected. You made this person feel insecure when you walked away from them. Okay, is what I'm getting here. And now they're coming back to like, you know, gas like you to offer you some some love that ain't even love. It's not love. Spirit is saying it's not love. I don't know what, what, the, what the reason is this person is coming back. But they're definitely coming back. Yeah, they want to look into your life and see what you've been doing. Because you know, they, they blame you. They, everything that, that happened between you and them in the past, they blame you. They, they, they're saying it's your fault here. Okay? And if they told lies to you and had you in third parties, they, they don't regret lying to you. That's why Spirit is saying it's not love here. And when you left them, they was like, F them. I don't give a shit. You know, they had options, okay? But now they want to come back. I don't know what's going on with this person, but something's going on with this person now. They want, they're want they going to run into you, or they're going to try to contact you electronically through some type of electronic transmission here. What's going on here, Spirit? Hmm. Yeah, I want to feel that way again. And so some of you do. Some of y'all really like this person here. But just, you know, somehow y'all got in a separation here. Before something happened, okay, that the, the commitment was called off or something, maybe because you caught this person cheating. And now, you know, you, you really was digging this person. So some of y'all think y'all might win this time, but it's not a win. It's a lose-lose situation here with this person because this person ain't coming in with love like you think. Yeah. This person is coming in thinking, making you think that both of y'all are supposed to be together. That's how y'all ran into each other again. Or that's how y'all, you know, um, cross paths because y'all supposed to be together no this person is there for another um some type of arterial motive or if they run into you they're going to create an arterial motive here because they still hold a grudge about you leaving them hmm what's here spirit tell us more what does collective need to be aware of 
What do they need to be aware of? Please and thank you. This person just don't like to be on the losing end. Collective. You had to apparently walk away from this person or, or break it off with this person. Wow. Yeah. They're going to be saying they want to be more than friends. Okay. Talking about they want you and all that. And they want to, you know, build build a relationship back with you again. That they become a better person. But see, behind your back, this person don't even claim you. Because they're still bitter that you walked away from them. Okay. Wow. And we all left or split up or whatever. This person didn't, they didn't give two fucks about y'all being apart. Okay, so this person coming in talking about they care about you. They miss you, this and that. It's a bunch of BS. A bunch of hogwash. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be saying they wish they had treated you better. But see, all the while, they blaming you for what happened. They blaming you for the breakup. Anything, And, and it was all their fault, but they want to blame you. Okay, they want to blame you. Yeah. They can't, they can't get it off their mind that you broke it off with them. So they want to, you know, it's like a get even type thing. Like, okay, I'm going to get back with my, my ex so I can break it off with them so I can have the upper hand. Yeah, this person's crazy. They want to tell you how they feel, but they feel like they can't tell you. I'm feeling like I'm getting the energy of they can show you better than they can tell you. Okay, but this ain't love. That's what I'm trying to say. This ain't love. Okay. Well, wow. something about your last conversation is stuck in this person's head. And this is why this person, you know, is feeling this way towards you. Like, okay, I'm, I got it. I, I got to take control back of the situation. No, no, nobody um, breaks up with me. I'm, I'm the one to do the breaking up. So, yeah, this person was kind of controlling too. Anything else here, spirit? Yeah, you can have got away with breaking up with them. They, now they're going to come back into you, into your life, or tr attempt to come back into your life, okay? Well, to um try to get even with you, to break up with you so they could, you know, say they got the last laugh or some shit like that. I left you when I saw you with someone, so you might have caught this person with someone here. But still, some of y'all still got feelings for this person. Some of y'all think, you know, this person come back, shit, that, you know... You got a good thing coming. No, no, no. Is this person not coming back with uh with love on their man here? Like I said, some of y'all gonna run into this person, or some of y'all gonna um get some type of message through some type of electronic transmission. I keep getting that. Hmm. This person didn't think about you. The only time they gonna think about you is when they run into you or when they run across your number. Okay, cause wherever at wherever they are, they bored as hell. They have nothing else to do. And you crushed their world when you walked away from them. Especially if they was cheating on you. You walked away from this person. You may have caught them in the act because it says you, I left you when I saw you with someone. So, yeah. You may have caught this person in the act. Anything else for your spirit? Yeah, we got one more here. Okay. I know I was a distraction from your pain. See, and this is what they're going to tell you. That they want to be more than friends now. Okay. When people bring your name up around them, but what happened to you as one? So y'all broke up? Y'all broke up? Like, yeah. Well, what happened? Well, they don't know, but they don't know what to say to people. They don't even react when when people ask them that. Why why are y'all apart? You know, why did y'all depart ways? Why did y'all part ways? They don't even give people a reaction. Okay. But hmm. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I left when I saw you with someone. So, yeah, this person knows that they hurt you. They know that they hurt you, but did they think about it after that? No, because they didn't even react when people mentioned you. Oh, you know, you hurt someone so when you did that. So, they was like, mm, oh, well. I, I got options, you know. But, see, you broke up with them. This is what they don't want people to know. So they got to get back in there and get even with you. Gaslight you so they can break up with you so they can have the upper hand. Wow, this person is crazy. Yeah, they in the past, they've been afraid to contact you because they, they, they didn't know. So like I said, some of y'all, they're going to um, contact you through electronic transmission. For others, y'all going to have to run into this person. All right. What else do we have here, Spirit? What is this person thinking here? Let's grab this deck. 
What's my collector need to know about this person that's thinking about coming back their way? They're not coming back because they love them. Hmm. Yeah. What's here, spirit? Yeah. Yeah, they're mad because you let them go, like I said. You let them go and you start a new beginning. Okay. Yeah, you change. You change. Either you grew from this person, you change. You know, and um, you've been doing a whole lot better, like I said from the beginning of this reading. You've been doing a whole lot better. And this person's going to come back around. Yeah, this one that has you as, as an option, that has you as a, you know, in a third party here. What else is here? They met because you let them go. That's what I'm getting here. Hmm. They hold that against you. Yeah. They're going to try to communicate with you. Somebody from the past here. Okay. Uh, yeah, it says electronic uh, in use. Communication. Looking over everything. Looking over the past. Looking over, look, looking over your pictures. Looking over your text messages. Looking over your... I don't know, whatever, looking up things about you. This person might even be searching for you um, on the damn internet or some shit like that. But this is how y'all gonna make contact. This person you let go of in the past or because they had you on the third party is what I'm getting here. Yeah, because some for some of you, you're at a distance from each other, okay? You may be physically at a distance or emotionally at a distance, okay? Yeah. And people are asking this person, why did y'all separate or why y'all not together? So this person got to feel like they got to get back in and they got to be the one to, to be able to stay. Because they can't answer the questions. That's why they don't react when people ask them. They got to get back in, gaslight your ass, tell you that they love you, want to be back with you and stuff like that. They don't cheat no more. They become a better person. But spirits, they have no love with that shit. Could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, a Sagittarius here. This person is definitely coming in to break your heart here. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. They may be coming to your house, paying you a visit, or asking you where you live at, or looking up, researching where you live at, and stuff like that. Wondering if you live with somebody, or something like that, you know. They were trying to figure out when they're going to make their move. Probably ask you on a date, okay? Probably come in want to get intimate with you, and all that type of shit, you know. Some of y'all going to be ready for that shit, but spirit want you to set boundaries with this person. But this person ain't coming in with no love for real. And nothing but a fucking liar here. But you're guarded here, okay? If this person tell you anything about they want to get back together with you, no. They'll be lying. They want something from you. I don't know what it is they want from you, but they want something from you. Spirit is saying proceed with caution with this person, okay? They may be coming back in because they want some damn money. Okay, they might have hit hard times or some shit like that here. Okay. Hmm. Some of y'all need to use your intuition when this person come around, okay? This person been manifesting y'all because they want to get even here. Is what I'm getting here. You may be a a, a air sign, a Gemini Libra Aquarius here. Could be any sign. But spirits say use your intuition when this person comes around here. Okay, pay attention to the red flags. Okay, pay attention to the red flags. Okay, because the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. Okay, don't be, you know, don't be so available is what Spirit is saying here. Don't be so available. Just say no sometimes. It's okay just to say no. Okay, use your intuition here. Hmm. This person asked you for a date, um, you know, no. Your spirit guys, you know, your, your angels are telling you that this person is a liar. This person is a liar. Anything else you want to tell us about this person? And uh, to the cosmic gods and goddesses, because this is cosmic thoughts here. So, yeah. What do we have here? Tell you that they may have money problems. Okay. And this is why they want to get back in your energy. Okay. And come back in and try to gaslight you. Okay. Yeah. They've been looking you up. All right. They've been looking you up. Someone might be traveling towards you. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, they might have found found out where you live. That you know, wow. Hoping that you open up your heart to them. Okay, but this person still got somebody else. This person still still got somebody else. They, they ain't stopped with the old shit, the old ways. They still got the old ways going on here. Okay, wow. They may be trying to manifest the air sign. Okay, but they can't. Or, or uh, you may be an air sign. Yeah. 
And this person is really impatient here, too. Okay. Told you they want to win. Okay. Well, it's a, it's a game with them. Okay. It's a game with them. They just want to win. They want to come back in and defeat you and say that they left you instead of you leaving them. That's some petty ass bullshit, but this is what this person's coming back for. Okay, you could be a water sign here. Okay, they want to communicate with you. Could be a, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They want to talk to you. Okay, and pretend like they're not the same old fucked up ass narcissist, you know, that they were when you broke up from their ass. They still the same damn person, probably even worse here. Okay, they they rushing in too. They rushing in because see, they didn't want to. They they didn't want you to kick them out. You kick them out the door. Now they want to have the opportunity to kick you out the door. This is what they're mad about. Yeah. Hmm. Let me get a couple from here. This is what they're upset about. Final message for the collective, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. And this says you are very rare here. Okay. You are very rare. Rare. Like, you know, a diamond in the rough or something. You know what I'm saying? This person hates that you walked away from them. But you had a reason. They had you in a third party. What's what's here, spirit? Please and thank you. Something about a discovery. Something you're going to discover about this person, okay? The reason why, you know, hmm. Something about time heals all wounds. Okay, but it's something about you, you, you're going to discover about this person. I told you this person is not coming in with love here. Yeah, they pretend it didn't hurt. Yeah, can't make it up. They're going to pretend it didn't hurt that you left them, but it really hurt this person. It really hurt them. Okay? Yeah. And maybe some time has passed, you know, and... and they maybe have you thinking like, you know, they ain't mad at you no more for walking away from them. They want to know if, if they can have a, a, a second chance with you. The discovery card is like they want to see what you've been doing. They've been looking into your life. They've been spying on you, stalking you, looking you up just to get back in to get fucking even or some bullshit. Okay. Anything else, Spirit, you like for the collective to be aware of about this person coming back in? Secret lover. They still got secret lovers. They still got secret lovers. You can mess with this person if you want to. One of the secret lovers they had is one of your damn close friends, okay? While well, spirits want you to know this person is crazy. They crazy, okay? Yeah, and hey, back in the past, you knew you made the wrong choice. Spirit says same, same, same thing applies today. Same thing applies today, okay? Wow. Anything else, spirit? Yeah, this person's just looking for a thrill. I can't make it up. The thrill to, to get intimate with you again, to see if they could, you know, have you thinking, guess like you have you thinking they could sweep you off your feet again, offer you of some type of engagement or something like that. This person's coming in with a bunch of bullshit. Okay. Because you see, you're doing all right in your life right now. But this, like I said, this person's just looking for a thrill and the thrill to say that when they walk away from you after they get what they want, you know, from you or whatever, they're going to walk away and say they broke up with you. So when people ask, they will have a reaction and say, oh, I, I, I left someone. So I left them. They doing all that just to say that, to be able to say that. They doing all this just to be able to say that. Set some boundaries with this person. Don't be so available when they call you, want to communicate or when you happen upon this person, this person happens up on you. Okay. Don't be so available. Okay. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. This is something. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is somebody that uh you may have suddenly stopped calling this person or something. I'm I'm getting the same message that they don't think that you'll accept their apology, so for whatever they did, so now they just want to, you know, get back at you the best way they can. The best way they can. Okay, yeah, but this person is not coming in for the right reasons here. They're definitely not coming in for the right reasons. You're the first person to ever uh, <laughs> cut it off with this person. Oh, this is what they're upset about. You're the first person that, that ever cut this person off. They can't accept that. I'm good. They knew exactly what they was doing and they was wrong here. They know that they messed up everything, okay? They know that they messed up everything, okay? Wow. But they want to come back and, and, and 
acting like they want to fix it, okay? Make you think they got their shit together, but they don't have their shit together. Wow. They want you to believe that you two are meant to be together here and that they're attracted to you. And that's just the opposite. Everything is just the fucking opposite here. Wow. And Spirit said that's the truth. Mm -hmm. One more. Wow. If you are sick in the bed, this person would just leave, leave you hanging. And you could be sick. They'd be like, I'll be back. they would never show back up. You could be sick in the damn bed. And this person will not come back and check on you. Because they're coming back for the wrong reasons. They're coming back just to say that they left. They, they had the opportunity to leave you. Okay. Well. What's here? Dream work. Maybe some of y'all uh, been dreaming about this person. Or maybe this person been showing up in your dreams. You may have been dreaming about this person lately. Or had a dream. Okay. If you haven't had a dream, you're about to have it. Okay, that's what Spirit said. That's going to be like a warning sign for you to, to set some boundaries with this person, okay? Spirit needs you to be wise when it comes to this person, okay? Use your intuition. Be guided by the divine spirit when this person comes around here. Well, wow, try to steer by the spirit is what I'm hearing. What else is here, Spirit, before I close out? Endure. Yeah. This person feels like you treated them cold. You, you left them out in the cold when you walked away from them. Okay. And they can't let they can't let you get away with that is what I'm getting here. Wow. They can't let you get away with that. The number 38 could be significant. The number 21. What else is here? Hmm. What else is here, Spirit? You just admire this person at one time. Mm-hmm. Just like the way they dress, you know, the way they look. There was something very admirable about this person at one time, but yeah. Well, man, this person thought everybody wanted them or some shit like that. You know, everybody wanted them. Okay, yeah, see, you got a new beginning here. Okay, you see... You had a new beginning, a fresh start when you left this person. Leave this person behind because when this person had you, Spirit said they didn't appreciate you. Okay, they didn't appreciate you. So, you know, you got even. Or Spirit got even for you. Or Spirit balanced things out and made things fair. Okay, with the Justice card being here. You may not see it, but Spirit is making things fair right now. On your behalf, Collective. Concerning this person that's trying to return to you from the past here. Because you don't see it. There's a you know, a blindfold on. You don't you don't see this, okay? Well, see so your spirit guides, your ancestors. I haven't seen just all all kinds of spiritual help. The spiritual tribe is here. Okay. They're making things fair for you. They're making sure that you hold on and you set boundaries because yeah. Appreciate your new life here. Appreciate your new beginning. And be glad that you got away from this delusional person here. Okay. Wow. They try to steal your dreams. You purified your energy. Keep your energy pure. Okay. Make the right decision here. What Spirit is saying. Okay. You don't need this person for anything. Rely on yourself. You may have relied on this person in the past for some of you, but you don't need them. Okay. You've been doing a lot of self-healing. Okay. You've been doing a lot of self-healing here. Okay. You got grounded here by taking root here. Okay, you're exploring more options here. Wow, Spirit said you could take a break. You don't need to chase this person. This person's trying to chase you. Okay, but don't let them back in your energy. Okay, because this person sees that you have made a lot of things happen since y'all broke up. Okay, you've grown a lot. Okay, wow. Things are aligning in your life here, and you're being divinely guided. Okay, to keep moving forward. Okay, and like I said, for some of y'all, y'all y'all talk to the dead, or they talk to you, your ancestors, your spirit guides. Everybody talks to you, just to make sure everything is fair for you in your life here. All right, you learned from the past and you moved on. No need to look back. Spirit said, "Let go." I can't make this up. Spirit wants you to let go, let go of the communication with this person here. Okay, wow.
You don't need this person in your life to create any magical thing to happen for you. They didn't in the past. They won't today or tomorrow or that next tomorrow after that tomorrow. Okay. Well, you healed yourself. So it's time for you to honor yourself and enjoy yourself here. Okay. There's somebody else, you know, out there for you besides this person. You don't need this person. All right. You have a lot of spark, like, like I said, with the three of wands. You started off with three of wands, and it's kind of like you ended up with three of wands, okay? Moving forward. Keep moving forward, enjoying your life here. Don't let this person stop you. Set up boundaries with this person. Don't be so available, okay? If this person has you and some, uh, uh, this person has got some player energy about their ass or whatever, they ain't stopped. Spirit said they haven't stopped shit. They just might hit, hit rock bottom right now and need your help financial help or something they ain't coming back around for love that's what i got to say because you know i'm gonna keep this shit real i'm gonna keep this shit a bean with y'all all right till next time peace stay safe